Hello, I want to thank you for clicking on my channel. I'm PI187, and today I will be reacting to another Idiot Abroad Season 3, Episode 1 The Short Way Round Venice. Alright, let's just do this. Marco Polo, one of the world's greatest explorers. In the 13th century, he embarked on an epic journey from Venice to China that took over three years to complete. Now, Ricky Gervais is sending his maid Carl Pilkington to follow in his footsteps. But this time, he's got a little company. Why do you stop just puffing and panting on it? Jesus Christ. It's like a Primark sale. He said if he did it again, he'd want some company this time. He meant me, but I've sent someone in my place. Yeah, yeah. Grab hold of that. We can't see it. They're like chalk and cheese. Carl whinges all the time. He's doing me head in. He's treating it like a holiday. He says he doesn't want adventure. He doesn't want stress. I'm just not a good swimmer. Once you're in, it'll be fine. Warwick never says no. It, it'll take on a challenge. Tease the camera. Tease the camera. Now do a little bit from Oliver. Good. <laughs> this is going to be good. Not the night for this, is it? You'll have to do it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> They're going to have the adventure of their lifetime, whether they like it or not. Whoa. Right. Thank you for signing up for another adventure. <laughs> You're going to take the Marco Polo route. Started all off, one of the most famous explorers of all time. And he went from Venice through Europe, Asia, and you're going to end up in China. I remember telling you when Dick Whittington walked to London that he had a cat with him, his cat. And you went, why take a cat, right? Take a little mate. I didn't mean a little mate. <laughs> I meant take a mate. Take someone who can help you, bring something with them. Oh, hang on. Whoa. <laughs> so what are you saying? That I'm not going to bring anything to the party here? I've never seen a dwarf go on a round-the-world trip on any programme. Reynold Fiennes, <laughs> or whatever his name is, when he climbed Everest. He didn't say, here's my little mate I brought. <gasps> if I'm being honest... No, if we're being honest, though... But, Carl, because what, what, you, what you don't... What, what's, what's his height got to do with it? Yeah. I just think you're going to be a hindrance. Yeah, oh, but... this is really bad. Normally, when I've done these <laughs> things in the past, all I've had to do is worry about myself. Yeah. I don't no, have that no. many mates. I don't think I need them. And maybe that's part of what's worrying me. You're like a little sort of limpet hanging on, dragging me back. That's how it feels. Limpet? Well, that's something that's just clinging on, a stag beetle, a leech, <laughs> taking from yeah, it. Not You're a like limpet. a leech. That a would leech. be insulting. <laughs> no, a stag a, beetle a or a leech, he means. A leech, a leech sucking me blood, taking me energy because you're going, can you carry this, can you carry that? It'll be fine. It's not fine. I tell you what, I want that little bit on my phone with you going, it'll be fine. So that when you're shitting out a lung, <sighs> I can go, remember that? It'll be fine. Oh, That's God. what worries me. He hasn't got a clue. I also love Carl has no filter. He just says what he thinks. <laughs> it's not all luxury. <laughs> That's what I think fine. Ricky loves about him. He just says shit out loud. Marco Polo. This is where he was from. This is where he started it. Just think how old all this stuff is. You'd soon get sick of it, though, wouldn't you? It's a town made for mermaids. Do you know what I mean? It's just hassle. Yeah, but if you lived here, it wouldn't be a hassle because it's part of your life and you realise when you want to get from there to there, you either jump on a gondola or you walk up to a bridge and cross. Yeah, I think we've moved on, haven't we? The time when we walked out of the water, stopped swimming about. We were fish, weren't we, millions of years ago? We weren't fish. We were some sort of swimming grub type thing, and it grew up into people. Now, I don't know how old... Yeah, I personally would think this would be a little strange to live here with all your... I don't I imagine all the... Not all the roads are water, but even still, like, what does that do to the foundation of these buildings? Like, they're constantly sitting in water. Are you constantly... You must be constantly repairing them. So they don't fucking leak, I would imagine, anyways, and they don't collapse and whatnot. This place is, but it suited us more back then. It doesn't work, this living like this. It's not. It, work. it doesn't work living this in water. This city's been here for hundreds of years. 
Where are we going? Just keep going straight. Well, I've got no option. I'm like Pac Man. <laughs> it's like a fire alarm's gone off and everyone's just hanging about. They've come to see this. St Mark's Square. It's beautiful. Never heard of it. 1600s, right? This was the centre for culture and entertainment in Europe. You can just feel the, the energy. It's interesting how the human body was represented. The body hasn't changed, has it, from how it was then? It's just that they were probably more tanned because they all, you know, walked about with the tackle out. If you're walking about with next to now on all the time, you're going to make an effort to have a six pack. Yeah. I've got a t shirt on, so I'm not bothered. No one's got any pets. I I don't think Why it do has to do with not pets? wearing a shirt. Just to cheer it up a bit, if there was a fat ginger cat sat in the corner, it would take the edge off someone being clubbed to death. Might have the fact to do with they used to work ten times harder back then, so you just physically were better fit. This is the stuff memories are made of. Oh, man. That's Jesus good, isn't it? Christ. <laughs> I tell you, that is going to get right on me tits if he continues this touristy thing he's doing. He's treating it like a holiday. Isn't that how Marco Polo did it? He wasn't stopping every five minutes feeding pigeons. He's an explorer. He's pissed off over there buying ice cream or postcards or something. He's left me with his bag. Fucking ice cream. It's going to take forever, isn't it? This. Getting all the way to China. Got an ice cream. It's melted a bit. It's a long way. You like vanilla? Yeah, I like vanilla, yeah. We can't keep doing this, though. Yeah. We're sort of wandering about, taking pictures and that. Because it's not me, this. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to open your mind and open your eyes a bit and to appreciate where we are and what we're doing. And So we do the pigeons, we get ice cream, Italian ice cream. What do you mean we do the pigeons? I've never heard anyone <laughs> say I'm going to Venice before to do the pigeons. <laughs> We've got them in Trafalgar Square. No, I'm starting to think I'm here with the wrong person, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not moaning on purpose, it's just... No, no. And you weren't to know, but I don't like this sort of setup. I mean, what's a lion doing up there with wings on? If that was done today, you'd go, what's that shit? Excellent, lovely. Thank you. With the rose petals. What a lovely room. Oh, wow. It's like going away with a girlfriend Fucking for the Ricky. first time or something. You suddenly, this is it. Huh. With her all the time. It's when you find out what people are sort of... I like the little downfalls, the little ir irritating things that they do. <sighs> Everything's exaggerated. That's why honeymoons, honeymoon sh I think Carl's gonna fucking bitch big time when he finds out the room that fucking uh, Warwick got over him. They give him a little tiny fucking crappy room. Looks like it's there for the staff. And Warwick gets like the fucking luxury fucking presidential suite. Shouldn't be after the wedding. Should do it before it. Find out if you like each other. Hello, um, it's Ricky, just checking in. Uh, yeah, so I saw you, you, you settling in, and um, uh, if you need anything, give us a call. Let me know if the little round-headed twonk is moaning too much. Or in fact, <laughs> let me know if he's not moaning enough, because that's what's funny. Um, if he's not complaining, we'll have to change that. <laughs> um, all right, speak to you soon. Do that, bye. Looking forward to today? Yeah, got some fun things I want to do. Um, I just want to show Carl sort of the, 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 the idea of the masked wall and all of that sort of thing. And it's a tradition that goes back years and um, it gave people anonymity and they could actually sort of live out their kind of alter egos behind these masks. And even nuns and, and priests would do it. And so they could sort of get away with things that they couldn't normally get away with, which I think is quite interesting. Yeah. Yeah, this is it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think fucking Carl's going to find this interesting at all. Yeah. Dressing up. 
masks. So uh, choose your character. Oh, I hate this sort of thing. Why? Because it's it's really forced fun. The idea is right. People never had any sort of anonymity. So to give them that, they would wear the mask and they could become somebody else, another persona. Everyone did this. It's not Everybody just Everybody the... did it. Everyone got involved. Yeah, that hats look good on me, don't they? Hmm. That actually doesn't do a lot for you, that one, to be honest, but... Hang on, they knew you were coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's funny, that's cheered me up, but that's you wearing it, not me. <laughs> that suits you, it totally uh... changes you, honestly. I want to find the one that's, um, it's like the, the plague doctor. He had a huge nose. So the doctor would wear something like that? Well, yeah. So you go in? A serious checkup, and he go. He, he comes out. <laughs> what the way he's doing that when you're. Hi, Miss Davis. Listen, you've got cancer of the bollocks. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want bad news from but someone it's like this. It's me up though, isn't it? I don't feel so bad about that now. Hello. Good morning. It's a lovely shop you have here. Oh, thank you. We are going to a masquerade ball tonight, uh -huh. and um, we need to have the appropriate outfits. Sure. This is more simple, more silent. Oh, this one is nice, too. This joker. This is great, this. Yes. Let's just see if it fits. But don't try and wear it like a smart suit. You've got to wear it as the character. You're not holding it right now, Carl. But that's what I'm comfortable with. I'm not comfortable when I play all the characters that I play. You keep Carl. mentioning that as if you've done loads of stuff, like you've well, done, done Shakespeare. You've dressed up as a bear in Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> like you've done lots of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I played in Willow in Star Wars. Uh, I actually don't know too many things that Warwick's played in other than, yeah, I believe he was a Ewok. And, uh, and I really didn't much know that before. I just refreshed my memory. Mainly the only thing I could think of was Willow, which was a fucking amazing movie. I haven't watched the TV series because I'm pretty sure it's just everything now has gone completely fucking woke so i don't believe i'd like it so i haven't watched it and a green gnome in something else that you're always going about hang on okay think about the oh, bear in star wars oh he was in leprechaun wasn't he that was a fucking good movie i must have watched the first leprechaun with jennifer aniston at least a hundred times i had it videotaped when i was younger so I didn't have a whole, I lived on a farm, I didn't have a whole lot of movies to watch, so anything I had on tape got watched ridiculous amount of times. I had a, for the longest time, because I grew up a little poor, I had a Beta, Betamax, if you remember those, um, with three, three tapes, and I had three movies, and I must have watched them each like a hundred times. This is before I got a VHS where I seen obviously uh, Leprechaun on. I didn't watch Leprechaun on no Betamax. But I had uh, the three movies I had on the Betamax I seen a million times was Muppets Take Manhattan, Big Top Pee Wee, and Punchline with Tom Hanks and Sally Fields. And I've watched all three of them more times than anybody needs to watch in a lifetime. Let's just say that. Didn't have any cable when I lived on the farm. We had an aerial that I had to climb up the side of the farmhouse and turn to try to get another... Like, we got maybe two channels in there if we were lucky. So, there wasn't a whole lot to watch on the television, let's say that. Alright, let's get back into this. Oh, but that's what I'm comfortable with. I'm not comfortable when I play all the characters that I play. You keep God. mentioning that as if you've done loads of stuff, like you've well, done Shakespeare, you've dressed up as a bear in Star Wars, <laughs> and a green gnome in something else that you're always going about. Hang on, OK, think about the bear in Star Wars. Again, it's a type of masquerade, isn't it? I was hidden in there, and I could fully explore the character of the Ewok. This is when it gets silly now. I was happy with the jacket. That's ruined it, as far as <laughs> I'm concerned. I look like a sperm. Let me do you prefer. Pierre. And what mask would I wear? The white and black. And what does that say to people? The message is um, the dreamer, man. Dreaming? That's Dreaming. more me. That's more me. Yeah. Yeah. It's 
look a bit sad. Well, I am, you see. That's but hold you your body, tell. just, oh, oh sympathy. Get the sympathy of the lady. Oh, fucking hell. No, not a oh, fucking hell. No, just... Jesus. Fucking what? No, that's, that's, that's that. annoyed. Just be sympathetically sad. Just, oh... Literally. Yeah, look, oh, your head to one side. <laughs> what are you got, isn't it? Mm, Casanova, is it? Casanova? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll for you. you. Thank you, yeah. OK. Well, uh, it's dangerous. I can hardly see. I'm in a city where it's like 90% water. I mean, a canal. Let's get it around. OK. Well, there you go. Matt. And the hat. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to keep that up all night, walking around like that, do you? Stand aside, peasant. Right, I can't do with this. You've been doing me head in already without you walking around swanning about like this. Honestly. I'm not on a full night of that. Look at it, though. Do you think Warwick picked that outfit just because it has high heels? Give him an extra three inches? I know. Look at it. Madame, may I have this dance? Definitely not. Are you looking forward to the party? No, not really. I'm being honest. Not at all. It's what Warwick wants, though. I it? couldn't see. I can't see. I am at the moment, looking it forward to the party. Warwick wants. Warwick gets. It's just a lot of arsing about. <laughs> I don't want to be someone else. I've been me for 39 years. What's the point in having a night off from me? I'm quite happy being me. Warwick's an actor. That's what he does. Who is the real Warwick? What does he like, really? He's dressed up as a bear in Star Wars, a green goblin and something else. Someone shouted Willow at him the other day. I don't know what he played <laughs> in that. You can get a guarantee some sort of little... What the fuck? What the fuck? How does Carl not know he was in Willow? Like, how the fuck does he know he was an Ewok over playing in Willow? Like, and, and a Green Goblin, which I'm guessing was Leprechaun. But, who doesn't, like, know Warwick Davis played in Willow? The young one yelled Willow at him. <laughs> Troll under a bridge or something. I didn't know he was in Hitchhiker's Guide. He was in that. I didn't know. In what? Well, he goes on saying, oh, yeah, people recognise me. And I, did, I did not know. He could have been in 321 in that bin. I don't know. I don't know what he's done. But the point is, you never see his face. He keeps going on as if he's a proper actor. Oliver Reed never dressed up as a goblin. Get fed, have a chat, and go home. Have you never been to a fancy dress party? No. Like he's an All we need is a stag do on the next boat. What's this? What are you doing with the shoes? It's fine, no one's looking at my feet. Of course they are. Look at everything it's I'm wearing. wearing. Look. Who's going to be looking at my feet when we look like this? Well, it stands out though. It doesn't. Why not sound there? It's not authentic now. Oh. Remember dignity. Oh, give us a hand. <laughs> oh, poor Warwick. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. On the water now. Thank you very much. <laughs> Don't ruin it, all right? Just with your attitude. Our guest. You all right? This is Warwick. <laughs> Madame, no, no, no. Not, it's what, not what. Hello. It's not Warwick. Well, I'm a dream weaver. Salute. 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 So, how often do you dress up like this? You don't ask like that. Uh -huh. In the characters of what we're doing. Uh, uh. So, are you very different no, now? No, 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 no. Let's talk about the room and the, the food and the... Uh. The, the experience. Venetian people uh, like to dress and do some um, game uh, to seduce uh, her uh, 
uh, victims. Uh, so. Let them lower. Uh, yeah, 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 it's you. It's like you yeah, always. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? It's just awkward. It's like a, a, a sort of horrible come dine with me. <laughs> I, 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 I like it. <laughs> Poor Carl can't it's even be himself. A lot, having a good time, yeah. I tell you, I can't wait to find something out what I do that he's going to hate. I'll say, yeah. remember, Warwick, dressed up as a knob for you that night. You do me a favour. <sighs> if you were a nun, she was a nun, she would. Have. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, that's why you haven't got one. Yeah, like a burning. Uh, no, I'm all right. I've, I've had some pasta earlier. I'm quite full. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Cheers, uh, yeah. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Just have one drink yeah. and then I'll probably get going because I have to be up early. <laughs> so mm. he might stay, but I'll be shooting off. Mm -hmm. Hello. All right. How's it going? He's doing me head in. What's he doing? It's exactly what I said to you at the start. He's treating it like a holiday. Uh, he's got like one of them little wig things on that judges wear and a little outfit and. Got 5,000 miles to cover. He's sat here having canopies. What, what's he dressed as? <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's meant to be. I've never seen it. I don't know what he's dressed as. Describe it to me. He's got a little judge's wig on. A, a red velvet jacket and but like a small Adamant. Imagine Adamant as a kid. <laughs> you should see the looks we get. I was on a gondola. People weren't looking at the old buildings and all that. They were going, what is going on there? What is happening there? <laughs> they probably think you've got a, you're a businessman who's got a weird fetish, like Pretty Woman. This <laughs> <laughs> Pretty Woman. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Maybe we, we can make a <sighs> game. An old-fashioned game, a Venetian... Yeah, of course, an old-fashioned. Casanova used it. Ah. Yeah? The pleasure machine. Well, I didn't know whether it was something... More like Monopoly or something. Uh, yeah. You want to be the first. Well, it's, it's his idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then, and then... He wanted to come to a party. Mm. Yeah. So, so Warwick, so it's your go. Master. Yeah, definitely. I just wanted to have a bit of... something to eat and drink. Well, we can. Let's both go in together, then. Oh, We're doing okay. the trip together. Let's experience yeah, yeah, yeah. the pleasure Let's machine together. together. <laughs> that that's a bit weird, together. surely, isn't right, it? I'll pray mm, you. Might be. Let's go in together with Jim Weaver. Put the blind... Uh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Do you see me? No. OK. So, give me your hand. Oh, yeah. Give me the hand. Oh. A... Don't worry. Oh, this is sensory oh, deprivation. Well, we... So we both went in the pleasure machine. It's not a machine. It was a changing room. It was just a, a, a curtain. Close, relax. The machine's turning. Wait. Oh, well, well, no, it's, it's my hat. Oh. Parlour games were invented for people who aren't really friends. You've got nothing to talk about because you don't really know them. It's like how <laughs> we have charades, don't we? Play Give Us a Clue or whatever. Oh. If you get the board game out, it's because the party's not going well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoever's been having like the, the garlic and the cheese and stuff, it was rank having someone so Yeah, I don't think this room looks very pleasurable to me. More like a fucking torture room by the looks of it. Fuck it's shoving random shit in his mouth. He's got a baby bottle in there blowing bubbles on him. What the fuck is this shit? Or breathing in my face. A stranger. <laughs> a smelly stranger breathing in my face. I was thinking, where, where's the pl where, this pleasure machine? Where's the pleasure? <laughs> Exactly. It's an uncomfortable machine. Okay, well, what? <laughs> right, I reckon we've got to get going. <laughs> oh, God, I don't like it, I don't know. Even more work looks I've experienced it. What are you having done? I don't know what he was having played with, what he was having pleasured. But he definitely wasn't in a rush to get out. Are you quite relaxed? I am relaxed. Is this good? No, I've had enough touch now. Touch it, touch it. Touch, I don't know what, you, what, what you're saying, touch. It's in my hand. Just look after him. No, no. I'll see you later. Carl. Fucking machine. 
That's a load of nonsense. What's that? <laughs> oh, there's a lot of hands. Jesus. Oh, no. having my bit of fun for today. Um, Warwick did what he wanted to do last night. Hang on a minute. Getting fondled and all that lot. Um, that was his wish. So today, yeah, I'm just having a go on like a jetpack. I've seen it on the internet. Wear it on your back. You whiz along the sea. It sort of uses the sea to push you in the air. It's like a superpower. It's close, closest thing to flying. The problem with Venice is it's stuck in its ways. It's very old fashioned. The art, the buildings. Whereas a jetpack is ideal. A water jetpack here, I don't know why they haven't used them. They're still messing about in gondolas. It's not practical. That's what this is about, isn't it? Showing the kids at home the future. Yeah. Look at that. James Bond, isn't it? Wow. You're going to be strapped to that in a minute. Flying high above the lagoon. Oh, I see this going really bad for, uh... This is really cool. I'm excited about this Carl. now. Hello? How's it going? All right, Ricky. Um, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's really going well, thanks. Today's a little bit different. There's so much more we could do in Venice, but we wanted to have a go at this water jetpack thing. See the bugger thing wing him around. <laughs> so he's strapped into this contraption, which is actually quite a cool-looking device, but when he's strapped to it, it sort of takes anything away from it. <laughs> What's he talking about? So, uh, oh, brilliant. So he, he, oh. actually, I think he's regretting it now. He actually looks terrified. Well, of course he is. He probably only did it to do something that was his idea that he would enjoy more than you. But it'll backfire. That's it. Don't worry. That's it. See so, ya. Yeah. Uh, I think we've got everything. Just end it. Just hit the end button. OK. All right, I'll enjoy yourself. I'll to you soon. Yeah, cheers, Ricky. Thanks. Bye. All right. Slowly, slowly. Slowly. It's not he's pulling me back. Yeah. Lower. I thought you're just in the water and you give it that. I'm just not a good swimmer and I've got like fucking scaffolding strapped to me back. <laughs> it's meant to be the future. You all right? Not really, I don't want to do it. I thought it was going to be easier than this. Well, once you're in, it'll be fine. This is the hard bit, the getting in. Yeah, it's weight, I can't breathe. They've got fucking polar neck on, I hate these, I can't. Uh... Well, would you rather be freezing cold? You're going to appreciate that. I don't that know, I'd just there. rather not be doing this. I don't know why I picked you it. You booked it's it. That thing again, I know. Don't annoy me. It's only one step. God, this is heavy. Okay. Hang on, let me just have a rest a minute. Where would you rather be now, in there or in the pleasure tent? <laughs> just lie back and just relax. Okay. <laughs> so undignified, isn't it? Slowly, slowly. Carl, how do you feel? Excited? You gotta get get up in the water like this. Stand straight. Yeah, just be a straight up and down. My legs are full of air. <laughs> sure. My legs are full of air. Just lean forward. Just lean forward and, and trying. I love the fact that he snooped himself with this. It's his idea. I'm having problems putting my legs down. Just lean forward. One, two, three. <sighs> no. Uh, it just seems like a lot of work for five minutes of fun. Right. Okay, now just relax. You feel calm? Okay. All right, so you ready then? Hit the button. Uh, just... just try to keep yourself balanced. Now roll over in your belly. Roll over. Twist. She's gonna fucking drown herself. <laughs> <laughs> You right? No, forget it. I couldn't control it. You just gotta throw your weight back and roll over. No, forget it. I'll get in the water with you want. It's not worth it. This isn't ready yet. Jesus Christ. Exciting, isn't it? How's this got made? I've seen people on the dragons. Then we more useful stuff. This is fucking death trap. We don't have to send people out. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Carl, smile. I'll get a nice picture of you with Venice behind. 
What are you doing? I nearly died. I nearly died. I nearly, I nearly died. died. <laughs> it's fine. It's just pull the ball. Pull the cork. Just pull, pull the ball the and you'll come out of the jetpack. Now he said the cork. What does it work? It yeah, does. Just, brilliant. just pull it. It's not coming off. I'll tell you what, once it's off, put it in the fucking bin. Shit. Pull the yellow cord out. The yellow cord. Pull in the yellow cord. No, the yellow, the yellow one. There's only one cord. Can you help us? Yeah. Okay, wait a second now. I'll bring you all over. Come on. 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 See again, it's me picking things. I don't know what I want in life. Hmm. I pick that. I've got no one else to blame. I'm not a great swimmer, and I, I couldn't All right, get out of it. Alright, strap forward into it. Let's it's see him do it. flash before me then. What did you see? S seaweed. <laughs> what did you see? <laughs> Really, that one. Hmm. At least I gave it a go. Well, well you sat there. Gave it a go. <laughs> I don't think the motor actually started, did it the whole time? We were there. someone else. There's other roads to be created, other paths to go down now. You don't always go the same way to Tesco, do you? Now, it's got one of the largest communities of Roman gypsies in Europe, so they're look after tonight, and I know you like caravan all of this. So you'll be right at home there, all right? See you later. Cheers. Uh, being a gypsy. I don't know, there's a little bit of me that I think would like it, but then, I don't know, I don't like change, do I? And their life, that's all it is, it's just one big change day after day, isn't it? They never get used to the surroundings. You know what I mean? It's like going on holiday, isn't it? Those first few days you have where you think, right, where's the shop? Where can you get the milk from? There's nothing here. Hmm. I don't understand how people at home can call themselves gypsies, because it's nothing like that at home. They're not going around in a little horse cart like that. They've got a static caravan on breeze blocks. Not going anywhere. They're not travellers, are they? They can't go anywhere. It's some, just some, some bricks. Thank you. Apple pie. Excellent. Really nice. It's lovely. Mm. Thank you. Lovely. Do we do we sleep in here tonight? Uh, yeah. There's a big pie. Carl, there's a hole in the roof. Let's get that plastic sheeting on. Do we put the plastic on the outside? Over the top. Yeah. Carl, can you get my case in before it gets wet as well? Oh. That's got a hole in it. Hang on, I need a bit more room than that. Look how short that is. Stop moaning. Look at it. There's nothing wrong with this. Of all the people to be moaning about being in a tight space, you're not the one. <laughs> you're not the one. <laughs> never seen that before. I've never spoke to someone so I said, oh. What instrument do you play? Oh, playing the goat. The Never seen that. Properly nicely done as well, like, it doesn't look ropey, sort of, you know, a dead animal. It looks quite perky. Uh, I suppose any animal that has more reasons to be around helps weird. it in the long run. I think that's the problem with pandas and things. They haven't got a job, have they? They dine out and no one cares. Whereas if you've got an animal that's chipping in, dogs do a lot now. They get blind dogs, huskies. That's just another job for the goat, isn't it? It does milk, it does cheese. Musical instrument. It's good. Got a good tune out of it. Had a good dance. Did me bit. You know, they all seem to be enjoying me having a dance with them. It's just Warwick who looked a bit sort of fed up and not up for it. Mm. Hey, hey, so hey, 
What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I don't know whether he knew that, you know, there was, um, that what they could... <laughs> what, are they fucking petting him like he's a dog? <laughs> no wonder he wanted to get the fuck out of there. It'd be sort of issues between me and, and, and gypsies and the fact that they, they like to touch me for luck. I don't know. <laughs> My head seems to be the luckiest point on me, actually. It's, it's, <gasps> the body isn't quite so good. <gasps> Tell a few people we're getting sly touching. Oh, that's what they're doing. They're touching him for luck because he's a fucking leprechaun. Oh, my God. Wow. And I, I thought he was just petting him like he was a dog because he was short and at that height. But they, they're trying to get luck from him. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. That is fucking hilarious. Can't believe that shit. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I don't know whether he knew that, you know, there was, um, that well, there could be sort of issues between me and, and, and gypsies and the fact that they, they like to touch me for luck. I don't know. My head seems to be the luckiest point on me, actually. It's, it's, the, the body isn't quite so good. He's had a few people were getting That's sly touches in. Like, sort of coming yeah. up with reasons to touch his head, sort of going, oh, you've got a fly in your head there. Yeah. Sort of rubbing his head for a bit of luck. Oh, luck, yeah. But I think it's a lot of old bollocks, because I've been with him for a while, and uh, he's pissing me right off. Nice, thank you. <laughs> oh, that is too fucking funny. Been hard work. <laughs> Warwick annoyed me a little bit when we first got here. I was working my ass off there. Dancing around, getting them all excited into it. He's sat in here doing fuck all. Suddenly, you know, they've shown a bit of interest in him and his Hollywood career and his family and all that. Like, he's got his album out. So, yeah, he's loving that. That's my children. We were in Hollywood. That's Hollywood. where the Hollywood. films oh. and another Harrison. <laughs> Sam, my yeah. wife there. Yeah, good. I went on holiday. I can't try Do you have a holiday? You're always on holiday, I suppose. That's a flag. I haven't really got his pigeon. It's a bit bad, really. I haven't got a picture of Suzanne, but I've got a picture of a pigeon. How was last night? You slept. You slept all right, really, considering. I had a cling film for a blanket. I think he slept all right. I woke up a few times, he was just there. Just wrapped up, sealed all the way around. Like a little samosa. So in that way, he is cut out for this. And I've been saying all along that he's not up to it. But if it comes to sleeping in little holes and crevices, he's ideal. Hello. Morning. Will you stop just puffing and panting like that? It's really. I don't want to breathe heavily. Stinks of goat shit everywhere. Right, I've been checking the guidebook and I found something I think you might like. The Sufi religion, which is very popular here. Um, they practice mystical exercises, you know, to get into a spiritual trance. I think you need to find yourself, Carl. No, really isn't a problem. Oh, is this it? I mean, what have you done that's spiritual? Really? I was hypnotised by Paul McKenna once. Hello. Hello there. How are you? Warwick. I'm Carl. Murtazan. Murtazan. Yes. You come in here every day? Yes, yes, yes. I live here. So, what's... Sorry, what are these, then? This is a... This, this is, is a man uh, in... in this place. Oh, what is it? It's not growing tomatoes, is it? It's coffins. Yes. This is my grandfather. Oh. He was professor in oh. school. He was a professor in school. In school, yes. Will there be a place for you to yes, be here? Yes, this is my place. This? Yes, yes. <laughs> when I death. Are you happy with that? So he just sits here surrounded in dead bodies. What? This is fucking weird. What does it smell like in there? Are you happy with this as a space? Yes, yes, yes. Right below the light bulb. It doesn't feel like a graveyard. Is there something a little bit more? No, it does. It does feel like no, a graveyard. No, it's all majestic somehow. <laughs> Mad, isn't it? 
You think it's mad? I just want to remember them how they were. Don't want stuff in the basement. It's like a car showroom, the way they're all stacked up. I couldn't imagine this ever... Well, it wouldn't catch on. We wouldn't allow it at home. There's no way. You have to get permission to have a conservatory. But why wouldn't we allow it? Well, I don't understand what's, what's so odd. When you come to sell it, people are up there going, oh, this is nice, oh, oh what's down here for storage? And you come in here, oh, there's Elsie, there's Auntie, Auntie Jean. I don't know why you can't just accept things for the way they are. You just will always change stuff. I this has been change. happening for 150 years like this. I'm not happy with this, I tell you. I would not be happy with this. <sighs> I, I think it's pretty strange myself. Carol, this is for you. Okay. Cheers. No, you are like delicious. Aul billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman to start with, everyone's having a good time. Running around in circles, having a dance, having the, you know, praying, doing the what's the name. <laughs> Suddenly I thought I was going, just doing that thing, doing that, I thought, oh yeah, that's interesting, little chip, and then bosh, in the face. It knocked me for six. Oh. Fella put one right through here. He showed me all the scars. One here, load here. You're going, oh, pull it through there. It's like a game of kaplunk. Okay, oh, yeah. He's just right, sticking shit. What the me. fuck? What makes me laugh is when I'm at home, yeah. I get a toothpick and I put it in my mouth and mess with it. Suzanne's going, don't do that, it's dangerous. Wait until she sees it. No, if she ever has a go what? at me again about messing with the toothpick, I go, watch that. What is he fucking doing? Oh, 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 okay, that's fine. You like to try it? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, Warwick. the God. People are fucked. I was Warwick nearly sick. I looked down at one point and he was sort of throwing <laughs> up in his hat. <laughs> it was shocking. I mean, you've got to admit that, seeing it. And then he starts saying, like, oh, we better get him out, he's going to be sick on the carpet. Well, I wasn't. He told us he was all right. There was definitely a point when he kept turning around and going, I was worried because there's so many mats in there. If he's sick, about seven mats have to go to the dry cleaners. They're all over the shop. There's so many mats in there. <laughs> I've not seen that on the telly. I've never seen it. Songs of Praise on a Sunday, it's well boring. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see old people dancing around to, you know, Lord's Prayer sticking knives in their head. But does it make any difference? Does it mean they believe in something more because they do that? I think they got too much time on their hands, personally. They need a hobby, and this not be it. Like, why? Why? It's going well. Um, we're in Macedonia, of course. Um, we went to that religious ceremony yesterday. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, it was a bit full on. Now girl's just sat there with his headphones on, not really talking. Well, it's not like what I've got up here next. Um, I thought that was something that's going to give him a bit of a lift. It's actually something I want to do for ages. Get him up in the air with a uh, balloons. So, it'll probably go mad at first, but once you get him up there, he'll love it. All right, see you later. Cheers. Really? Is this safe? They're gonna get Jesus. lifted by helium Street. balloons. Yeah, electric wires everywhere. Yeah. It's just fucking stupid. Yeah. Let's get in the Marco Polo route. It's cool. You're gonna be weightless. Carl's 100 percent right. This is fucking stupid. It's something he went on about ages ago. He kept going on about saying how he'd love to stick me on a load of balloons and get me in the air. It's not normal, is it, for a mate to be mm. wanting that? Or like, hold the end, do something, you're here. I haven't seen you do anything yet since we've been away. Took some pictures. Jump. Jump. <sighs> 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 
Oh, oh yes! <laughs> fucking nettles! Fucking nettles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell, it hurts on the come down, doesn't it? It looks great, though, it's really colourful. <laughs> Created Why a new one. I've more worked all these balloons. TV. That's it, get the seat round. Something tells me it'll work better. <laughs> That's it, cheers. That's better. That's better. Ah, you yeah, bastard! Is it better to run off the hill? For the record, go! I... It's a ridiculous run. Yeah, it is a ridiculous run. Come on! Right. Go! Give the man one more balloon. Come on, people. No oh, good. No. Warwick, you'll have to do it. I'm doing it. <laughs> come on, Warwick. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, come on, Warwick. Why not? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't need to. We've got what we That's need. his answer to everything since I've been here. No, I don't want to. Being short, you see, I'm not. I don't really like heights that much. Don't mess about. I'm not messing about. The kids want it. Get him up. Yeah. There you go. They love it. Come on. I don't think he's worried about heights. I think he's worried about floating away <laughs> and I'm not being able to stop him. That's what I personally think. Yeah, I think he's gonna do it though. I don't know. I could be wrong, but it looks like they're trying to convince. Don't let the kids down. Oh, I'm not letting the kids down. Oh, that little bear you were doing for the kids. Come on, get in there. Sit down. The thing doesn't even fit me though. Is it? Come on, it's too big. I don't think this is gonna work on me, is it? Yeah, it is. It's gonna be brilliant. There's far too many balloons. Surely this is ridiculous. Oh, oh God! I'm gonna fall. Hold on, where we? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, not, too high, not too high, Carl. Not too high, not too high. You drowned, I got myself a Warwick right. balloon. No one cared. We've got a dwarf and a balloon. There's no danger. Ooh, He's high. Up and down. No one cares. Why don't you show this concern with me on the jetpack? I did. You didn't. You went on a bit of a <laughs> light down. This will make up for it. Yeah, it's funny from down there, isn't it? <laughs> it I never is. had a kite. Oh, look at the go. I reckon that's brought us closer together. <laughs> Ow. Oh my god. Oh. Hello? Oh, right. fuck. Did you do the balloon thing? Uh, no, I didn't do it in the end. There wasn't enough balloons, so they couldn't lift me, so I, put, I stuck Warwick in it. What do you mean? I stuck Warwick <laughs> in it. He was quite happy. I wasn't. You were? It's, it's fine. I just heard him. I could, I could hear him say he wasn't happy. He was happy. He wasn't. Well, hang on a minute. He anyway, why is it all right for me to do it? But oh, he's lugging joke? around with me and he's not doing he's not anything. Happy, he's grumpy. Yeah, but I don't know if that looks good. If that looks like you're bullying. Ricky, Warwick. not being funny, but have you? I've seen people on balloons. I've never seen a little fella on one. Warwick's enjoyed himself. There isn't a problem. But what? Jeez. Oh, you can't tell me that fucking Ricky's not laughing his ass off on the inside. He's just holding, was fucking biting his tongue so he doesn't piss Warwick off. Or... Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm here. Warwick, are you all right? Yeah, no, I'm all right. I didn't enjoy it, though. I mean, it was ridiculous. We had the, the little local kids. They were the safety. They were holding on to the ropes. So anything yeah. could have happened. It was windy. It was their best day ever. What, so they just let him go and he just kept floating? What have happened then? He just would have gone up. <laughs> well, We had yeah. to shoot the balloons there. Well, well but the same thing for me. When Dick Whittington walked to London with his cat, OK... He looked after the cat. He didn't make the cat do dangerous things for his own amusement. The cat gave him company. It was a symbiotic relationship. Honestly, if you offered me a cat now, I'd do a swap. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on An Idiot Abroad. Right, it's time to hit the road again. You're continuing your journey via India. I just love the atmosphere already. You can just you can feel it. You can feel the energy, can't you? Brilliant, Warwick. Bring him over, he said. Good to have some company. What does this look mean? Very handsome. A little bit from Oliver. That's it, that's good. <laughs> what you're going to see now, you'll never get the chance to see again. I don't want it to be like one of those shows where it's just pure oh. exploitation. Well, that was pretty damn good. Oh, my God. I was kind of upset that Warwick didn't go on the uh, jetpack, water jetpack thing, because that could have been pretty crazy. Um, but they made up for it with the balloons. Um, I honestly can't believe they forced him to do that.
And, uh, of course, of course, fucking Carl thought it was fucking hilarious. And I know Ricky probably thought it was hilarious, too. He just, uh, you know, he's just trying to be worried, you know, and trying not to bully the, the short guy. But I really enjoyed that. That was pretty damn good. And I'm looking forward to seeing the next one. And I hope uh, you come back to watch the next one with me. All right. So have yourselves a great day, guys, girls. And uh, like, comment, subscribe if you would. Thank you. Bye for now.